Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Time. I'm Thomas, your host, and I'm here today to talk to you about aging wine and is it worth is it worth it? Um, I decided to shoot it in front of Dominus, which is an incredible estate here in Napa Valley, known for wines that age gracefully. And let's talk about that. Wines aren't all created equal. So producer to producer, you will find wines that are different structurally. They have different acid, different tannin levels, different flavor profiles, uh, different structure and density depending on how they produce the wine. And so all producers aren't created equal. So is wine worth aging? The answer to that directly is yes, but it depends on which type of wine. Certainly you're not going to want to age wine um, that is kind of light and fruit forward that doesn't have the backbones of tannin and acid or even sugars in some cases to be able to age gracefully in the wine cellar. But I can tell you from lots of experience wineries like Dominus or wineries like Heights up in uh, St. Elena or different um, more or uh, different wineries that produce powerful wine like up on Howell Mountain like Randy Dunn's wines these wines have structure and backbone and they pick their grapes a little bit earlier so where they have higher acidity and when they produce the wines they don't use quite as much rich oak barrel regimen and heavy heavy toast barrels and they make their wine kind of in an old-fashioned style that's more akin to what they do in Bordeaux France so in terms of aging wine uh, Bordeaux France is definitely a place you're gonna want to look to the wines there naturally have a high toned acidity the way in which they make them, which is uh, slightly more old-fashioned, they pick early and they have wines, uh, the wines there have density and power and structure. Um, Italian wines, uh, Brunello di Montalcino and Barolo, those are two wines that in Italy uh, age very well and they are known for having big tannin and good acid, especially Barolo. These wines are often so backward and full of tannin and acid right when they're released that it's almost necessary to age them 10, 15 years in order for them to really unfurl all their potential. So the answer to the question is yes, aging your wines is uh, of worth and of value. Um, you, have to, you also have to look at it from an economic standpoint, whether or not you can afford to do so, because wines that age really well tend to be a little bit more expensive too, because they're improving over time. So people charge a little bit of a premium for that. Also, you have to look at what type of um, storing conditions you have because we can do another video on that in, uh, some other time, but storing conditions are really important for aging wine in a proper manner so that they age gracefully. You need a dark place, a cool place, a place for the bottles to lay down that's not going to have a lot of vibration and you're not gonna wanna move the bottles around a lot. And so uh, you need the proper storing conditions in order for your wine to age gracefully. So it might not be for you just for those simple factors of you don't have the economic means to do so, or you don't have the patience, or you don't have the storage facilities, or you're moving a lot and your job requires you to move a lot. So you might not have the ability to age wine, but if you can um, and you get the right wines to age, they can just become absolutely magical elixir. And a lot of wines like Dominus, for example, I've opened a little bit too early. I one time bought a, I think it was 2013 vintage Dominus a few years ago, and it was you know fresh out of the box, and um, I think it was a hundred point wine, and I consumed it like you know a year later when I probably should have waited 15, 20 years to try it. And uh, so I made that mistake, and I learned that if you have the patience and you age the wine, you will enjoy the experience even more. So those are my experiences with that, and I definitely think it's worthwhile to age wine. Just make sure that you're in the right place to do so and you have the right conditions to do so, and you choose the right wineries. And we can talk about a list of age-worthy wines another time and link up a video or something like that. And I can tell you the ones here, at least in Napa Valley, that age really, really well. But Dominus is definitely one to check out Dominus. Cheers.